quantum computer will be able to perform certain tasks significantly faster than any traditional computer, your phone, your laptop, and even the fastest supercomputer in the world. Demonstrating this is showing quantum advantage, an enormous milestone on the way to a full, fault-tolerant quantum computer. Previously, only two teams worldwide, one from Google and the other from USTC in China, had demonstrated quantum computational advantage. Now, here in Canada, Xanadu has joined the ranks of these monumental achievements with its own demonstration. At Xanadu, we achieved this breakthrough using the power of light. And even better, we put our device on the cloud. So anyone in the world with an internet connection can access Quantum Advantage for free. Xanadu was founded over four years ago with the mission to build quantum computers and to make them useful and available to people everywhere. What makes Xanadu's approach different is that we base our computers on photonics, quantum states of light. Last year, we set ourselves the ambitious goal of demonstrating quantum advantage and making it available on the cloud for the first time. It's extremely challenging to prove that you have demonstrated quantum advantage. For our demonstration, we chose a hard mathematical problem sampling random numbers from a special probability distribution. Simulating this with a classical computer will require the computation of a difficult mathematical function called the Hafnian. In general, calculating a property of the Hafnian by hand or with the help of a traditional computer, no matter how powerful, can take a prohibitively long time. But it can be sped up substantially with a quantum photonic device in what's known as Gaussian boson sampling, or GBS. Sending squeezed light through an interferometer and counting the photons at the output. However, a GBS experiment with hundreds of squeezed light qubits, which was our aim, required a bit of a redesign. Instead of arranging hundreds of squeezers and beam splitters in space to generate and entangle the qubits, we made use of time multiplexing where a single squeezer generates many pulses of squeeze light. Some of these pulses are stored in optical fibers while waiting for the next one to arrive and be entangled at just the right time. The fibers act like buffer memory. We can process 216 qubits into the right quantum state without each qubit needing its own dedicated hardware. At the end, detectors count the number of photons in each pulse. The photon number pattern that we observe is the sample in Gaussian boson sampling, the process that is so difficult to directly simulate without a quantum computer. To confirm that our experiment was indeed hard to directly simulate, we benchmarked our quantum device against state-of-the-art algorithms on fast classical supercomputers. After a lot of careful analysis, we concluded that our demonstration went well beyond current simulation method. It's requiring hundreds of millions of years to recreate on the world's fastest supercomputer. To make sure that our quantum advantage demonstration was more than just a one-off experiment, we're also hard at work making it available to all the users of Xanadu Cloud. Everyone came together from quantum theorists to engineers to developers for the final push to make quantum advantage available on the Xanadu cloud. The last weeks were spent chasing bugs, connectivity and stability issues, making sure that this device had the operational readiness that is expected of cloud available quantum hardware. The last mile was the integration of the hardware with one of our open source quantum programming frameworks, Strawberry Fields. Now, for the first time ever, anyone no matter where they are, can run their own quantum advantage experiments. Xanadu's demonstration of quantum advantage is not the final word, but it is an enormous step towards the ultimate goal of a fault-tolerant quantum computer. And it is more evidence of the power of teamwork, the power of lights, and the power of quantum. Mm -hmm.